What's up everybody? So today we have something a little bit different. We have this box right here, which is a mystery box, a gaming mystery box from Loved Again Media. And I saw this company on Retro Rebound's channel and he got a pretty good box. I wanted to do this as well and kind of compare and see, and it can be another example of what this company might give you. So basically this company, their goal is to keep plastic out of landfill. So things like games, movies, music, they try to keep them out of landfills and they do that by working with like local companies around them to basically take in all the stuff that would just end up in the trash. So right away, it is a cool business model. So with these boxes, you can give them different specifications. You can say you don't want sports games, you don't want music games. If you were buying it for a kid, you could say you don't want M rated games, stuff like that. Um, my immediate concern with that would be, I would have to imagine that everyone says no sports games. And at that point, what do they do with all their stock of sports games? I don't really know how that would work. And it does lead to some issues. Like I mentioned with those other videos I've seen, some people got some bad ones. I think I saw Spawn Wave got a pretty bad box with like a lot of sports games, even though he said he didn't want any. But Retro Rebound did get a really good box, so I thought, you know, maybe if I make a video, it can be another example. And if enough videos stack up, you could decide for yourself what the odds are looking like. Spawn Wave, I think, did the one where it's like a mix of all different consoles. Um, Retro Rebound did PlayStation, so I was like, let me try the Wii box. I kind of immediately regret that, to be honest, because there's just so much shovelware on the Wii. I think that may have been a mistake because there's gonna be a lot of stuff that's probably low value, but it's not a sports game, stuff like that. We're just gonna get into it, see what we get. I'm gonna use price chart just to see what the value of the games is looking like. I did pay $45 for this box, so we're gonna see what we get. I will say I am excited. I, I am actually excited to see what's in here. Okay, so the box is open. I did kind of see one on the top that did not look like a very good game, but let's get into it. I'm gonna try to open this in a way so that I only see what's on the top, and I'm trying to think how can I do this. First up is, what is this? Arcade Zone. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, right off the bat, this box is not in good shape whatsoever it's a little bit grimy there's this sticker on here looks like they ripped off the price that was on there um this disc feels kind of loose it's not and it does have the manual hmm. arcade zone so you're going to be seeing actually i don't know anything about this game um you're going to be seeing the price of the game as we go. I am not gonna be seeing that at the same time, but it does have the manual. It's uh, marketing Space Camp on the back. <laughs> so I am seeing on this manual, which I couldn't see on the box art because the sticker, it looks like it has some old Activision games on there, which is kind of cool, I guess. Number 22 great um yeah not not the greatest start but it's okay um next up trying not to look in here this feels heavy oh sims 2 castaway okay that's that's a real game right here sims 2 sims 2 castaway i don't know what the castaway has to do with it um, I've never really been a big Sims guy, actually. It does have the manual again. Actually, I forgot to check the box. I mean, not the box, the, the disc. Oh God, what the hell? This actually looks decent. It actually looks, mm, I mean, yeah, it's not bad at all. And it does have the manual. All right, that camera angle is just not working for me. So we have a little bit of a switch here, but. Yeah, Sims 2 Castaway. So I know with these Sims games, they release like a lot of these versions. So that game, uh, that just doesn't look too bad, I guess. Um, it does have the manual. I did notice in the videos, they seem to usually have the manual. Oh, anyone want this EA code? That definitely still works. Um, yeah, I know nothing about this game, but I've never really been into Sims. I know my sister really likes Sims. Um, 
yeah, you know, I'm not too mad at that one, actually. I'm actually genuinely not too mad about that one. So I feel one here that's to the side. So let's pull this one out. Ah. <laughs> Club Penguin Game Day. Okay, so this is probably a bad game, but I actually love this. I actually love that I got this because I loved Club Penguin when I was a kid. Um, I absolutely loved Club Penguin when I was a kid, so I actually kind of love that I got this. I actually kind of love that I got this. Um, it has the manual again, which is really surprising considering the way they get these games. I mean, that just looks pretty good too. And it does have the manual. I feel like, I don't know. Is it not that crazy to have the manual? I feel like it is. I collect, my main game system I collect for is the PS4, which was the generation when they stopped having manuals. So that may be why I'm reacting so strongly to manuals. But yeah, okay. I actually, I doubt this is a good game, but I'm actually kind of happy to have that. I'm actually kind of happy to have that. So let's go to the next one, which is, okay. Matthew's bow hunting. Who is Matthew? I thought it was Cabello's. Um, so I guess this doesn't count as a sports game. I mean, it kind of is. There's something sticking out of the box here. Is that a receipt? It's the, okay. It's the manual for the bow accessory. I did say no accessory games, technically, but it doesn't really count because I doubt it's required. That is a super weird thing to have in there. It does have the manual again. Every game is complete. Not that these are high value games, but everything is complete, which is interesting. Um, and all the discs, I mean, they all look fine. It doesn't, I don't see any issues. Um, oh, forgot to put my weave bow accessory in there. I actually, I kind of like that that's in there because that's just so weird. Um, yeah, not too, that's probably my least favorite one so far because I don't really see any cool stuff with that. Okay, next up, not the thing we got. Zoo Hospital Plus? <laughs> is that is that the name or is that just a hospital logo? I think that's just the hospital logo. Um, this looks rancid. Do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that gunk on there? Oh man. Yeah, like this is the type of stuff I was kind of scared of because it's the Wii, but okay, well, it's, oh God. Oh wait, okay, that's just a sticker. That's actually not that bad. I thought that was like more gunk. It does have the manual once again. There's a little, can you see that? There's a little pube on the disc. <sighs> anyway, not too excited about this one. I mean, I don't know anything about this game. I've literally never seen it before in my life. So, yeah, not the, the 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 case is a little, it's a little grimy. So I'm not too happy about that. We got two animal games in a row. Next up, we have. Wait for it. Look. Okay, Sims again. Sims three. I think the Sims three on 3DS is worth some money. But this is not the 3DS. It also has a sticker. I did, I am noticing all these prices are torn off, which is kind of funny. But, well, if I was a Sims fan, I'd be thrilled right about now. Um, but I don't dislike the Sims, so I mean, I'm not really mad. Wow, this has all the inserts. Let's look at this. This looks fine to me. Let's look at these inserts. So it has the manual. Oh. It has My Sims Sky Heroes. I did play My Sims as a kid. Oh, Family Game Night 3. Monopoly Streets. I like stuff like that. I like little inserts like that that are like from the time. Um, I wasn't really expecting two Sims games today, but I'm not mad at it actually. This case has, could be a little bit better. Obviously that sticker kind of hurts, but I'm not too mad at that actually. 
So how many have we done? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we've done six already. This box came with 10, but I feel like I feel more than that in there. I think they said sometimes they give you an extra one, but we'll see, what's this? I don't know. Next up, Blazing Angels Squadrons, Squadrons of World War II. I, once again, I have no idea what this game is. Um, obviously it's a flight game. I absolutely have no idea what this is. It's by Ubisoft. Um, I'm noticing these games are really hard to take out. I think that's probably just a Wii issue. That looks fine. This manual is chunky. Oh, TMNT. I, I just, I think I just miss manuals. Cause like I said, I go for PS4 games so much. This looks like there's like some history in here. Yeah. That's kind of cool, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to put in some gameplay of all these games. I don't know anything about this one, but yeah, a little bit of a sticker there, but the case is fine. Other than that. Interesting. Interesting. Next up, our next game is, this is really hard to take out in a way that I don't see it. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Okay, we got something good here. Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Now, I don't know if I own this on the Wii. I know I played this as a kid a ton. I think I may have played it on the DS though. So I don't know if I have this. Unfortunately, the case is a little grimy up there, which is unfortunate because this is definitely the game I'm most excited for. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. Th this game is just so good. Like that, th this game is so good. It has the manual. I I'm kind of impressed by the man. Uh, everything's complete considering how they get these games. Thrillville off the rails. This is, this is definitely the best one we've gotten so far. This is the best game we've gotten so far. That, that was exciting to see that, that, that was nostalgic. That was definitely nostalgic. Lego Star Wars is so good. Lego Star Wars is just so good. Okay. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I def... I feel like I feel three games and these... There's two... Okay, there's games that are stuck together. <laughs> there is definitely games that are stuck together and there's definitely three of them in this box. Look. They're stuck together which is really concerning. They're actually stuck together. Well, that's concerning. So let's pull them out in this order now, because I don't want to see them, but that one in the middle, there's something bad on there. Um, first up we have, ah, oh, there's Cabela. Dangerous Hunts 2011. Okay, well, um, yeah, there's so many of these hunting games on the Wii, which, like, makes sense. It's complete, again. Check the disc, it's like, this is a high-value game, we have to make sure the disc is good. It looks fine. Um, yeah, okay, right now I'm just still thinking about that stickiness in the middle. Cabela's. That's fine. Ow. Okay, so I'm leaving this one that's sticky for last, but next up we have <laughs> Minute to Win It with Guy Fieri, or whatever his name is. Um, I, I, I don't know anything about this one either, but we can assume it's just like all the other game show games. I don't think I ever watched Minute to Win It. Did any of you ever watch a minute to win it? Hmm. That looks fine. Um, yeah. Okay. That, that, yeah. He's really excited about that. So, how many games is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, yeah. So we did get one extra game, and it, it was it was sticky. So I'm really scared to see what this is. But this will be the last game. Which is, <laughs> okay, 
I'm even more concerned now that this was sticky because it's Monster High 13 Wishes. Um, someone at GameStop bought this game for $30 new. Um, I'm actually not sure why it was so sticky because, oh, yeah. Well, Monster High 13 Wishes is what we end on with a GameStop sticker on it. Every game was complete, and none of the discs looked too bad. So that is my box. That is what I got. So you've been seeing the prices throughout this video. I have not. I'm going to go look those up really quick, and we'll be right back. Okay, so I just totaled up everything, and it looks like we got a value of $93 total. That is according to price chart. And the reason it was so high, believe it or not, was because of this game right here. Cabela's Dangerous Hunt 2011. Apparently, this game is worth $26 complete. Why? I don't know. But uh, that's pretty much what carried it if you take that away it's 66 total which is still 20 dollars more than i paid okay so i have to jump in here for a quick correction because i did a little bit more research because i just could not believe that cabela's was worth 26 dollars and i was correct so it's actually only that price if you have the top shot elite peripheral with it which makes a lot more sense so without that it's not really considered complete and it's only worth like five bucks. So you can kind of disregard that price. The real price is more or less so closer to 70, which is still not bad considering what we paid, but I do want to just put that correction in there. So quick correction, but it does not really change anything that I say in the conclusion. So we can continue on now. Um, so that, yeah, that's, that's something for sure. I think overall, what I would say about this service is a couple things. Number one, do be aware if you see this video, this is a subscription service. So when you buy it, it's going to charge you the next month again if you don't cancel it. Be aware of that. I don't want anyone to buy this and not know that it's going to charge you again. Be aware of that. Cancel it if you don't want it. If you do want it again, you know, be ready for that charge. Just know that. I want to be clear about that. On top of that, here's what I'll say about this. Was it fun to open? Yes, it was. I, I had fun opening this. It's cool. Got a couple games that kind of, you know, gave me some excitement. We did technically make money, but I want to be clear. You shouldn't buy this if your goal is to make money. There's much easier ways to make money reselling than doing this without the risk involved, without a game that is apparently worth $26. And it's one of those things where with price charting, it's not perfect because yes, it may be worth something, but that doesn't mean that someone wants it. So yes, technically according to price charting, if I sold all of these, I would make like $40. But the reality is, is anyone gonna be rushing to buy Zoo Hospital? No, it's gonna take a long time to sell. I would have to pay for shipping, stuff like that. So if your goal is to make money, this is not for you. If your goal is to just get some cool games, make you kind of smile, think about a game you may have played as a kid, something like that, I think that this could be for you. Now I will say, in terms of the you know things I told them I didn't want, they did follow that. Um, some of these games, like the, the hunting games, are compatible with the like bow thing or the Wii Zapper or whatever. I don't count that as a peripheral because it's not required. I assume the peripheral thing is like, if it's required, they're not required for those games. So I don't count that. Is hunting sports kind of, but still only two of them. Overall, I think this is a fun service. If it's something where you are interested in just getting random games, I will say I was excited to open this when it came. I had to wait a couple days to open it. I was looking forward to it. I did also notice on their website, there's more options with the consoles you can get on Amazon. They only have a couple options. If I had seen that earlier, I may have done that instead, but for now we have this and I am pretty happy with it. It was fun to do. I don't think I'll be getting another one overall. I wouldn't necessarily recommend against this, but just know what you're getting. Don't do this if you're trying to make money, right? 
This isn't like, I feel like a lot of people think mystery boxes are like gambling, like someone's just blindly picking stuff off a shelf and putting it in the box. Obviously that's not how it works. They know the value of what they're giving you. They're not gonna accidentally give you like fire emblem on weed. Like they're not gonna do that by accident. They know what they're doing. And overall, it's just something that should be for fun. And I did have fun doing it. So it did achieve that job. Um, let me know if you think I should get more mystery boxes in the future. Thanks for watching.